let's talk about what we can all learn from U.S. women's national team soccer star Carly Lloyd about dedication. I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine expert. Carly Lloyd is one of my favorite soccer players ever. You know, she obviously gained a lot of notoriety in 2015 by helping the United States team win the FIFA Women's World Cup. But she's also been named twice as FIFA World Player of the Year at ages 33 and 34, way beyond the ages when you're supposed to be peaking athletically. How did she do it? Well, she talks about how she trains harder than anybody. She has a personal trainer named James Galanis, and he has basically worked with her most of her professional career, not just on soccer, but on her fitness and conditioning. And there's this great story that she likes to tell where she trains on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day every single year, doing sprints, doing body weight training, long conditioning runs, shooting drills, passing drills. She wants to be faster than anybody when she's going for a loose ball. She wants to take two steps toward the ball and leave people in their dust. And clearly it worked. She got up every single day, including the holidays, to train. And she felt like that made her better than everybody because nobody else was doing the work on the holidays. She took a lot of pride in it after she won the 2015 Women's World Cup, scoring the hat trick in the final game, she called her coach and actually asked, when are we gonna start training again? Because she still wanted to get better. How well do you put in that kind of determination and dedication and extra work in what you do? If you play a sport, you could stay late after practice and do more sprints or more squats or more time in the weight room or practice your shooting drills depending on the sport, but you can stay late and do more than everybody else. You could do more weightlifting, more sprint and conditioning training, more technique work on a team's off day. But this same concept of working harder than everybody else can apply to all of us in what we do at work. Maybe we make a few extra sales calls after everybody has gone home for the evening. If we have to give a presentation at a departmental company meeting, sure, we could just do just enough to give the information that everybody needs. Or we can go the extra mile and make that presentation outstanding and deliver it with impact. We can work every day to learn new skills that will help us advance in our careers. We can learn things like public speaking, marketing, leadership, communication. There's so many different skills that maybe don't apply to our jobs right now, but they can help us build a stack of talents that make us better overall and make us more likely to either ascend in our own company or, yeah, potentially even leave and get a better job somewhere else. Or maybe you just apply it to your exercise. Maybe you have a goal to run a marathon. Sure, you can get one of those plans where they tell you what to do every single day and you do that training run and by the end of that training, you're ready to finish a marathon. But you don't just wanna finish, you wanna do the best you possibly can. So you do more than what that program calls for. Sure, maybe you do days where you do sprint work or you do hill work but you work even harder than you would because you want to be the best ever. Whether this is school and working as hard as you can and working harder than everybody else to get the best grades, whether it's you know, work and you're trying to get you know, ahead in your company, get ahead in your career, or you're an athlete, you want to be the best athlete. Maybe get to play on your high school team, go from backup to a starter, or make the college team, or even make the pros. You have to work harder than everybody else just like soccer star Carly Lloyd has shown us. And if we do that, we'll be champions in sports, business, and life. 